What's going on guys and welcome back to Bogey RC videos. Now uh, a lot of people if you're familiar with the uh, SCX 24 Wraith build that I've been working on uh, a lot of people have wanted to know where the bodies come from what brand they are so on and so forth and I can't really answer that but this is what uh, you look for you get these at Love's Truck Stop so uh, yeah what we do we uh, cut this top part of the bumper off we take the body off I think there's like four screws that hold that body on and then we throw the rest of that stuff away and we just use the body for our SCX 24 now you might be wondering what I'm doing with you know three extras of these and well there might be a little something going on that you want you might want to know about with these but uh, we'll get to that later um, first thing we want to do today uh, what I've been working on is uh, I've been trying to figure out if I can uh, get some steel drive shafts on this thing because I haven't seen uh, I don't think any SCX 24s with steel drive shafts yet so I uh, kind of gathered up an assortment of small steel drive shafts and uh, these ones look to be pretty close I'm thinking that the rear might possibly work and this front one might need to be shortened up just a little bit so we're going to see if we can get these installed on here see if it works and if it does we'll go ahead and let y'all know what these are where they come from so let's get at it first let's take the body off we can just remove these two screws back here and, and release the hinge from the frame now with the body off we can remove the screws at each end of the drive shafts. Now with the screws removed from either end of the drive shafts, I'm going to remove the uh, two screws that hold in the transmission and motor. There's also one more screw right here. Okay, with the transmission loose, we can just kind of pull this right out and see what we've got going on now we can use a small flathead screwdriver to uh, slide the drive shafts off the input and output shafts from our transmission and from our axles All right, let's see where we're at, guys. Now, the uh, back transmission or the back drive shaft, uh, we've got that one mounted to the transmission. Um, we did run into an issue. Now, these, these are the ones I'm using for the back. And if you can see, these come with set screws. And our SCX24 transmission has a hole all the way through the, uh, the input and output shafts. So what we need is a grub screw like this one. So the grub screws actually came with the drive shafts that I got for the front. But they also work in the, the ones that we got for the rear. The, the drive shafts are basically identical and their uh, construction the front and the rear even though they're for two different brands of truck so luckily i've ordered uh i have two sets of these shorter drive shafts so i should have another set of these grub screws which will be enough to complete this installation as i suspected the uh, shorter drive shafts are just still a little bit too long. So what we are going to have to do is we're going to have to line these up. We're going to have to make a mark on the metal drive shafts and we're going to have to trim them down to length. All right, guys. So what we've done is we've lined up the flat side of each of these drive shafts like this along side of these and we marked them with sharpie 
at the point where they need to be cut off to. Maybe I might scratch that mark on there a little bit better with a file, but uh, yeah, yeah. Then we're going to uh, go ahead and trim these down to that length. Um, we will do a maybe a test fit or two. We'd rather take off, uh, you know, not enough as to too much. So anyway, let's uh, get these trimmed off. I am going to use a die grinder with a cutoff wheel. Uh, my hotel neighbors will probably enjoy me, but uh, it shouldn't take too long. So let's get this done. All right, just like that, I'm back. I went ahead off camera and installed these drive shafts. Uh, after the front one had been shortened, the back one is in its stock configuration. Now, one of the things to bear in mind is that uh, the axial stock drive shafts have the moon shaped hole because the output shafts are all uh, of that shape. And the new drive shafts have a round hole. So we have to use the grub screws from the front drive shafts. So like I said, I had two sets of these, so I robbed the grub screws for this second set to uh, put there. And uh, speaking of the grub screws, they do stick through a little bit. I would suggest trimming them off on the back three positions. Well, on both sides of the transmission and the uh, rear axle, that's not an issue. But on the front differential, the grub screw sticking through caused it to rub on the uh, Y-Link uh, mount so we had to trim that one down flush and as so far as clearance with the y link it's just is exactly the same as it was with the uh, scx 24 drive shafts as you can see these drive shafts are the si same diameter if they were any larger it would be a problem but since they are all the same diameter everything worked out pretty good there so anyway guys yeah that's uh that's what we got going on seems like it's going to work out to me it's not a uh, bolt-in uh, option but you know if you don't mind fiddling with it trimming the uh, front drive shafts you know messing around a little bit uh, it's not too bad that uh, you know you can do this probably less than an hour and uh, like i said i would tell you what these are um the front drive shafts are the uh, metal replacement or upgrade drive shafts for the CR24 by Hobby Plus or sometimes referred to as the URUAV or there's there's a few different brands that you know all will use this same drive shaft here and the rear drive shaft is also a URUAV part this is for the 1 uh, WPLs and uh hang long uh, little trucks and these i got all this stuff from banggood um i also got these other ones a couple sets of these other ones these are the di diameter is too big they just wouldn't work but i do have uh, a plan for these in the future which i'll show you later on down the road so anyway yeah like i said the link to these drive shafts are in the description below and uh, now let's move on to what we got going on with these extra little uh, wraith bodies here. All right, so these are these little friction trucks that these bodies come on. And uh, that's why I trimmed it right along the front here and just trimmed that front piece off and saved that because, you know, we uh, we went ahead and glued that onto the uh, axial bumper so we could mount that up nicely. But uh, it's a real piece of cake here, guys. What we do is there's four screws that hold this body on. So we're going to get rid of this... Uh, this bottom part and we'll just throw that in the trash I 
also get rid of these tires that are in the back. They uh, don't look very scale. A little screw right here. All right, so if you wondered what I'm going to do with these extras, because I only got just one SCX24, and that's the one I've been building my Wraith with. But, uh, yeah, yeah. This one, uh, one of these, I'm going to send to my guy, uh, Jake, over at Jim's Garage. He's the guy that I use for all my 3D printing, or most of it anyway. And he's the guy that printed the uh, low center of gravity mod that I used in my SCX24. And I suggest you use that because the hinge in the back sets this body down low. And I know that everything works. If you do that, there's a link to that uh, in the uh, video on the low center of gravity mod that I did in the past. But uh, yeah, uh, one of these is for Jake. And the other two... Well, I'm just going to give these away to uh, a couple of you viewers that have stuck around this long and might be interested in one. So uh, if you are, uh, leave a comment below saying that you're interested. And next time I do a video, I will have picked out a couple of your comments at random or whatever. And I will announce that and give you a week or so to get in contact with me with your contact information. I always leave my email address in the description below. So yeah, a couple of these, I'm just going to give them out to uh, some viewers, you know, just kind of a thank you for uh, watching and supporting the channel, guys. So till next time, Uncle Lee, Bogear RC Video saying I'll see ya.